Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I have got some amazing video footage to share with you guys of what look like white orbs from this distance playing kamikaze. They're, they're flying at each other in the nighttime sky. The video footage is from just after midnight. And again, they look like white orbs from this distance. And some of the maneuvers that they're doing, I don't think there could have been humans on board these things, whatever they may have been. I'm waiting on Stacy to hear back on the exact location of what you're about to see in this video. And then tomorrow, you're going to see more examples of the same type of phenomenon, very high speed white orbs in the nighttime sky. This video was out of Pea Ridge, Arkansas. This video here was sent in by Stacy, and we'll come back and take a look at this amazing video footage here in just a moment. But first, over here at the homepage, of the website. Awesome photo sent in by S. Jacobs out of South Carolina. He took this photo in Tennessee behind the very thick wildfire smoke. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. No major Earth-directed solar flares in the last 72 hours. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun. All quiet for the time being, but that is definitely subject to change as we're waiting on a series of sunspots and active regions over here on the, the eastern side of the sun to appear. They've been on the back side of the sun for several days now. They're turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. This video was taken this morning around 5.30 by Scott out of Shelton, Connecticut, who keeps a, a close eye on the Earth-facing side of the sun and all the active regions and sunspots. And he's looking for the, the new active regions and sunspots that are turning towards the Earth. And they should be visible here anytime. I mean, within the next day or two, if not sooner. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Still a lot of activity activity up here at Mammoth Vault just overloaded with small earthquakes. Those red vertical lines represent small earthquakes, and there's a lot of them up at Mammoth Vault, and this has been going on now for the better part of five days. You can see some magma intrusion. That's the dark blue you see on the seismographs around the, the supervolcano caldera. Nothing major going on, but the abundance of small earthquakes is kind of a big deal because we're talking about earthquakes at a supervolcano, and that's something that we watch super close. Checking in on the power outage situation over here at Power outage.us texas once again another day i think this is nine days in a row where they've had over 10,000 customers without electricity today 17,688 looking at mississippi alabama and georgia all of those power outages 17,000 16,000 and 23,000 are from inclement weather very strong storms that are moving through the gulf states right now as i do this video you can see over here at the the go 16 radar and more than likely the power outages are due to high winds from those very strong storms. Looking at the wildfire smoke over here at zoom.earth, another day of skies filled with wildfire smoke as the, the wildfires are still very active up in Canada. This is one of the largest plumes of smoke I think I've seen so far that's made its way down into the United States. Just looking at this map, you would think that the wildfires were in Minnesota or Wisconsin, quite possibly in North Dakota. That is one very thick plume of wildfire smoke that's making its way down into the northern tier of the United States. I want to take you guys now to a undisclosed location, or at least it's undisclosed for the time being. I'm waiting to hear back from Stacy on where she saw these amazing lights in the nighttime sky. And right now I'm calling them lights because that's what they look like in this video. And they're very high speed. Video goes back to August 29th of 2020. Video footage was taken at 1222 AM, just after midnight, when she noticed these white orbs over here, at least they look like orbs, very bright lights in the nighttime sky. And watch over here on the left-hand side of the field of view. You're going to see two more objects right there. Enter the field of view. Bright lights from this vantage point, and they're moving at a very high rate of speed. They're going directly at each other. They narrowly miss each other, and watch how quickly they turn around and come back towards each other again. Look at that. 1,001, 1,002. Two seconds, and they're going back in the opposite direction, narrowly missing each other again, very close to the ground, or at least they appear to be very low to the ground. They're going to turn around again, go back towards each other again right here, looking like they just narrowly missed each other. They get lower and lower as they get closer and closer to each other. In this video here, they turned around really sharp again. I mean, in less than two seconds, I don't think a human could have been on board that thing because the G-Force would have been way too strong. That was the original video at original speed. I didn't do anything to it. Now we're going to zoom in just a little bit because I'm looking for possible features. I mean, these things were far enough away to where they just look like a bright point of light, high speed light in the nighttime sky. Again, this video 
video was taken at 1220 in the morning. Not sure where at. I'm waiting on Stacy to let me know where she took this video from. But this is some incredible video footage of some sort of objects in the sky. Again, I don't think they're airplanes. If they are, there's not anybody on them because the G-force would have been just way too strong as you're going to see here up close. Watch how quickly these objects turn and go in the opposite direction right here. Just make a hard left-hand turn, and just instantly they're going back in the opposite direction in less than two seconds. I mean, how is that possible for an airplane to pull off? I mean, I've seen some maneuvers in the, in the daytime sky from the Blue Angels and planes like that, but I don't think that's what's going on here. These look like some sort of bright orbs in the sky. They're very low to the ground. I mean, they started off in the sky, at least the two over here on the right did, but they look to be very low to the ground. Not 100% sure what we're looking at here, but whatever they are, they're pulling off some incredible maneuvers in the sky. Here I zoom in, modified the original video just a little bit, hoping to pull forward any possible features, but they were just too far away, and the lights that are on these things are just way too bright. And I don't think an airplane would glow like that. The entire thing appears to be glowing. If it were an airplane, it would have one point of light on it, I would think, that would be kind of intermittent. It looks like the entire thing is glowing, like it's just one big light, very high speed light. Here they're going back at each other again, and they narrowly miss. They're getting lower and lower to the ground. And it's amazing how quickly, like right there, you can see how quickly they turn around and just accelerate in the opposite direction. And I mean accelerate at a high rate of speed. That's why I don't think there could have been humans on board these things. Here I simply inverted the, the light to dark and dark to light. Watch how quick they turn here. You can see it even better. Just on a dime turned and was going in the opposite direction. And then right there just accelerated. Unbelievable. I don't know what she saw here, but they look like just bright points of light moving through the sky, obviously of intelligent origin because they're moving in straight lines and they're missing each other and they're pulling off some incredible maneuvers, these very sharp turns in the sky that again are pulling some major G-forces that I don't think a human could withstand. There they go again, right at each other, narrowly missing. So really cool video footage sent in by Stacy. I'm waiting to hear back from Stacy of where she saw these amazing lights in the nighttime sky. We started the video off with the sunset, and we're going to finish the video up with the sunset out of Norway. Video footage submitted by Tom Skarning out of Norway goes back to June 9th of 2023. Looks like big wavy hair or something up in the sky at sunset, visible from Norway. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at Mr. MB. 333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply click on the red tab. It's a drop box. Drag and drop your video into the drop box. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.